Hey, um, last video was me reviewing this song called Friday by Rebecca Black, and it took me two parts to review because it's a really terrible song. Um, by the way, I have something over here because, uh, reaction to Girly Glue, I got a little bit on it, but I washed it off. <laughs> I'm a little insane. I was working on a project, which I'll explain later. But instead of reviewing something bad, and this has nothing to do with the Why series that I'm doing on YouTube, where it's Why episode one, and uh, there's going to be an episode two soon, but this is not episode two. I just, no, you know what, forget it. It, it, it is episode two, because it's so much simpler to do it now. I was just, I just listened for at least the fifth time to the entire album of Paid in Full. Now, if you, for all you guys who don't know, Paid in Full was Eric B. and Rakim's first album, Rakim's first album. Rakim is the greatest rapper to ever live, to grace the mic, best rapper to ever live. Not my favorite, my personal favorite is Eminem, but Rakim's the best. <laughs> um, so let me review that album. Now, that album is hot. Like, listen to that entire album from front to back, and it's just amazing. And it, it's so revolutionary because, the, like, l let me read you the track listing, and let me review, like, like you know how I reviewed uh, in Friday every single line of that song? I will review every song in the album Pain in Full because I'm reviewing an entire album. I'm not going to do a whole, uh, whole thing. I think they even made a movie called Paid in Full. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they, I don't think I don't think there's any other albums besides Get Rich, Die Trying, Before Self Destruct, and Paid in Full that were made into movies. I'm, I can't think of any other albums. I know Streets is Watching was. Um, okay, I Ain't No Joke. I Ain't No Joke has a beautiful flow. Like, when Rakeem goes, he goes, like... He's a rhyme master, and I know that for a fact. Rakim's a rhyme master. But what he does is just amazing. By the way, every single beat on this song is amazing. <laughs> That's one thing I have to say. Every single beat on this song is amazing. So, that covers everything I have to say. But... <laughs> Alright, so that song, like, he really goes off. He, he does something with, like, uh... I broke something like I ain't no joke, like, I, I don't know what he says, because I don't remember it, but what he says in that song, he just goes fast. His flow is just amazing. Eric B's On The Cut is the second song. Now, that song is basically instrumental. Now, let me explain something. Who's the per Pete Rock. Pete Rock is a perfect example. Pete Rock is a hip-hop artist who makes instrumental albums. Whole albums of just beats. And his beats are amazing. Um... For the People is a great song by him. Uh, so P-Rock does that a lot. So it's cool that this album combines... It, it, it shows what Rakeem can do and it shows what Eric B can do. Because Eric B is an amazing producer. Amazing DJ, no doubt about that. So Eric B on Still in the Cut is a really great instrumental, really great beat. It's sad that I couldn't, that Rakeem couldn't rhyme to it because I love Rakeem to rhyme to it right now. Okay, number three, My Melody. Now, what Rakeem does with that song is just basically kill it like he does on every single song. He, do, he kills every single song that I know. Like, uh, if you listen to R.I.K.I.M. by Rakim, unparalleled. I have not heard a song better than that. Number four, I Know You Got Soul. Now, what that song is, is not skillful. It's not like, it's not like lyrically, well, it is lyrically amazing, but it's not as lyrically skillful as a lot of other songs of his, like Rakim or Paid in Full. Like, so, Ra so this Rakim does really good. He does, like, Jay-Z level. He doesn't do Rakim level, but he does Jay-Z level. So, I Know You Got Soul is basically like a, like a dance song, kind of. Um, I've made a few of those myself, so I can't really say. But it's, it's a really great song. Number five, Move the Crowd. Now, Move the Crowd is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty amazing. I, w I would have to say that Eric B is a mix master. He mixed so many beats. Like, for Move the Crowd, uh, he did Action Speak Louder Than the Words by... A uh, band called Chocolate Milk. I think it was a band or an artist, something like that. He mixed that with The Jam by Gra Graham Central Station. Hot Pants Row by the JBs. <sighs> Pass the Peas by the JBs. And So Does the Funk uh, by Return For to Forever. I mixed them all in one beat to make an amazing song called Move the Crowd. Number, no number number six, 
the best song on that whole album, Paid in Full. It, it's the song that the album's named after. Its lyricism is amazing. I, lo I love rolling down the street, whistling this, feeling out of place, cause man do I miss a pen and a paper, a stereo, a tape, a me and Eric B with a nice big plate of this, which is my favorite disc, but without the money is still a wish. Like, what? I don't, I don't think in anybody in 1987, think about it in 1987. Don't think about it by today's standards, because Eminem, songs compared to 1987 Paid in Full, a little bit better. But Paid in Full's amazing. For 1987, like, Criminal Minded came out, and so did NWA's first album. This is the best album of 1987, in my opinion. This might be two parts, by the way, just telling you that. So, you know, best song on the whole album. It's number seven, As the Rhyme Goes. That's a great song. I recommend it. Number eight, Chinese Arithmetic. <laughs> great name for a beat, and it's actually original by Eric B., which shows you that Eric B. can produce. Eric B. can produce really good. Um, Eric, Eric B. is pretty talented, and that's displayed by number nine, Eric B. is president, and that song carried the album. That was the debut of Rakim and Eric B. in 1986. Um, in 1986, I don't think you would ever hear anything like that. Uh, it's not the best song on the album, but that song carried the album, really. It kind of sold it, but I really love Paid in Full more. Uh, and then number 10 is Extended Beat, which is... Mm, I really didn't like it, though. I didn't really like that song. But for a whole album to be fr freaking amazing is really a big deal. So... That's my review of Paid in Full. Please don't ask me to bring up that album again because I'll be talking for six minutes like I did in this video. Um, next video, I'll be doing either advertisements or review of The Wolfman. So stay tuned and better be surprised. Uh, so yeah, see ya.